a moron and a coward. <laughs> Ahoy hoy, anime fans. Today while I was browsing YouTube like the addicted crackhead I am, I stumbled across a truly terrifying sight. No, not that. That's pretty good. What I found was this. It's ready! What is it? Or Jolly Roger. We are the Straw Hat Crew. We're heading up to the Grand Line. A treacherous stretch of ocean with bigger islands, bigger pirates. And that's where we're gonna find the One Piece. Oh no, not another one of these. Yes, Netflix is making a live action One Piece show. And it looks like all of the other live action anime adaptations they've tried to do. Or manga adaptations, it's all the same story. Oh my god! Netflix has a real problem with cheap looking productions. Mostly because they are cheap. Except this one, which costs 18 million dollars per episode to make. What are we even doing here? The show costs this much and it still doesn't look any better than the Cowboy Bebop show? Yeah, Netflix made a live action Cowboy Bebop and that one only costs like six to seven million per episode. But this is kind of Netflix's default style. It honestly makes everything look a little fan film like and not very interesting. Uh, similarly to like the Russo Brothers directing style, which doesn't look like a fan film, but it is a very bland way to shoot a movie. But that's a topic for a future video. Right now, we're talking about Netflix's terrible anime adaptations. Okay, the set design for One Piece looks great, but in camera, it looks fake and tacky. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this, but there's a weird disconnect while watching the trailer. Like, it's almost not real. It looks like a fan film rather than an $18 million per episode official production. Like, my head is going to explode. That just doesn't make any sense. Why does it look like this? You know what else doesn't make sense though? With Netflix's live action adaptation reputation, there is an alarming amount of people that seem genuinely excited for this. Too many people think this is going to be an exception to the Netflix shit rule. Like, are these comments fake? Are they real? Is Netflix just filtering all their comments so none of the negative ones show up? Netflix's past live action adaptations include Death Note, Utter Trash, Cowboy Bebop, more trash, and I didn't even know this until making this video, but they've also done Full Metal Alchemist, and that one's a whole goddamn trilogy. And I guess people like those ones too. Look at this. And apparently, this one guy likes the changes Netflix made from the anime. Those words in that order just do not make any sense. I don't know if you knew this, but weeps don't typically like when their beloved animes get adapted, and they especially hate when anything is changed. I mean, the exception would be small changes made when adapting from the manga to an anime, but even then, it doesn't happen that often. I'm starting to believe these are some fake ass comments in these videos. Honestly, I will probably watch One Piece when it comes out, but I'm not expecting it to be good or faithful or even enjoyable in any way. I don't know, it just doesn't seem like it's going to be anything worth watching. Oh, and uh, one last thing before the video ends. Yeah, um, what did they do to L? Short video today, but I'm working on a much longer one, so this is kind of filler until I can finish that video. Like, subscribe, check out my TikTok, at LifelongFanboy, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.